Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to start talking about how to format lists with CSS and also talk about how to set up navigation on your web pages. Now I've gone ahead and we're still in our first website test site here and I have my index.html page open and I'm of course in code view and what I'm going to do for this video is actually delete everything that we've placed in the body section. So you should have a completely clean empty body section here. And I'm also going to go ahead and open up my styles.css file and I'm going to delete everything from there as well. So we're just sort of starting over from scratch. Now, there are two main kinds of lists that individuals work with inside of uh, web pages. Um, unordered lists and ordered lists. And you saw the example of how we set up these lists by using the UL tag for unordered lists or the OL tag for ordered lists. And the default is that unordered list items are going to have a circular bullet next to them. And ordered lists are going to have Arabic numerals next to them. And we indicate, again, our individual list items inside of li tags. So if I wanted to create a list of names, I would just simply go ahead and place them inside of these LIs. And that works exactly the same whether we're in a UL or an OL, an ordered list. And actually I need to bump that over just a little bit using the tab key. And let's go ahead and look in design view and you can see I've got a very simple bulleted list and I've got a very simple um, numbered list here ready to style with my CSS. Now in order to format your list items you're basically going to use tag styles in the way we've previously used tag styles to um, lay things out. It's also possible to use class styles to add flexibility um, to your uh, lists, but right now we're going to focus mainly on um, tag styles. So I can go ahead and create a style with the li tag just by simply typing in the tag name and then an open bracket. Now the main properties that you're going to work with are going to be the list properties and you have list style here, list style image, list style position, and list style type. And I'm going to go ahead and select list style type and this indicates the kind of marker for each individual list item. And I'm going to select square from that. And then I'm going to go ahead and close off my curly brace. So I've said my list items should now have a square marker on them. And now when we go ahead and go into our HTML, you can see both of our lists have these square markers on them. It doesn't matter whether they're in an OL or UL, because all we did was specify that anytime there's an LI, we should apply this list style to it. Which brings us up to a type of selector and remember this is a CSS selector. It's the target of this particular property value statement. But in order to be more specific in what you're selecting you can use what are called descendant selectors descendant selectors. And instead of just specifying that all of my LIs should um, have the square bullet next to them, I can say anytime 
there's a UL that contains an LI. I should change that style. So this is going to modify the first set of list items, but the OL will remain the same. It'll have the Arabic numerals. So I'll save that and come back into my style sheet and you can see my unordered list, my UL, now have the square markers, but my ordered list, the LI items that are inside of the OL, now have the numbers on them. And again, this is called a descendant selector. If I wanted to change my um, my ordered list style, I could select, I could create a selector that looked like this, OL space LI, and then a bracket, and again, my list style type, and I could choose a different list style type here. For instance, I could select, um, what do I want to select here? We will select upper alpha. And then I'll close that off. And now when I look at my list, you can see instead of using Arabic numerals, I'm now using uppercase alphabets. So the addition of this parent selector allows you to be much more specific in the way you target your items. Let's see that again if with a different uh, property. If I was to select um, all of my LIs here and then do a color property and let's say I want to change it to red there. We'll save that. You can see all of my items have been changed to red. But if I change that to a ULLI, just the unordered list changed. If I was to change that to an OLLI, you can see just my ordered list changed. And this concept of a descendant selector is something you're going to see over and over and over again in your um, um, code. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that right there. And we'll leave these two items alone. So that's the basics of formatting um, list items. And again, everything you learned about margins and padding, that plays along with this um, as well. You can apply margin, you can apply padding. Um, for example, let's say I want my, um, my ordered list to be indented more than they already are. I could say OLLI margin dash left and I could say 100 pixels and now when I go ahead and take a look you can see that's been bumped in a little bit more if I wanted to change the amount of spacing in between my items I could do that I could say padding and this time I won't specify top, bottom, left, or right. I'll just put in the values. Five pixels top and bottom and zero pixels left and right. And I'll save that. And now you can see that they're spaced out just a little bit more. You can also completely remove the bullet or the number from your uh, list item. For instance, here, if I was to select none for list style type, you can now see I have just a list of items without any kind of a marker on them at all. Now, lists are very important inside of HTML because a lot of content that you're going to include on your page will probably, or not a lot, but um, 
many times the content that you're going to place on a page, you're going to need a bulleted list or you're going to need a list of numbered items inside of them. But unordered lists and ordered lists also play um, an important role in setting up navigation on your pages as well as setting up um, forms on your pages. It is a very commonly and, um, and expected practice that anytime you have a list of navigation elements, regardless of the way they appear, that those navigation elements are going to be contained in an unordered list. And it's also very conventional when you're setting up a form on your page that your forms are ordered using ordered lists or are formatted using ordered lists. And at first that seems very unintuitive, but this gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility and the ability to do um, a wide variety of things um, in your HTML um, with your lists and your forms. For example here, I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, completed Manchester project here. And I'm going to go ahead and ignore what a template is for right now. Actually, I don't need to go in there. I'm going to go into a file here called main.html. And again, you can see the way this is going to look. And you can see I've got my navigation right here. When I look at my navigation in code view, you know, there's my top nav section. You can see that these navigation elements are inside of unordered lists. And in this case, we actually have lists embedded inside of other lists. And that's actually the way you achieve this drop down effect here. And we're going to talk more about that um, and styling those a little bit later. But it's, it is very important that you recognize that navigation um, is always going to be contained inside of a list. You can see here I've got my social media div with my different icons inside of them. And again, that's a navigation list. And when we look at the code, we can see there's the unordered list that contains my social media navigation. And if we had other lists in other places on this page, um, or if we had other navigation elements in other places on this page, they would also be um, contained in those lists. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and set up some sample navigation and um, set up some sample navigation formatting um, using lists. So I'll see you in the next video.